So I left the office. I'm outside enjoying some nice little sunlight that we have here. It's January 14th, 2024. And a dollar is now 12.55 Naira. One USD, United States dollar is 1,255 Naira as of today. When I traveled to Nigeria in November 30th, I was in Nigeria from November 30th to December 16th. I exchanged the dollar for about 11.80. Now it is 12.55. So what does that mean? What does that mean for you abroad? How can you leverage the strength of Forex, foreign currency, particularly the United States dollar, to set yourself up in Nigeria if you so wish to, if you are interested in that. There's never a better time to build or start a business in Nigeria that can support or help to support your lifestyle in the United States or abroad. For instance, at Emberic Adventures, we manufacture Nigerian goods, we import them into the United States, and we sell on our website, we sell to customers, and we also sell on Amazon.com in US dollars. So some of the products that we carry, and if you visit Embericat.com, or you go on Amazon and search in Barricade. We deal in food ingredient staples like um, crayfish, pepper, salt, gari. We also deal in artifacts like art, carved wood, these are all commodities that we manufacture or process ourselves in Nigeria and we bring them into the United States and we sell in foreign currency. The key here is, you know, obviously anybody can go to any market in Nigeria and buy goods for the United States market, which is fine and dandy. I think most people do that. But to really gain an edge, you really have to, or how we gain an edge is, we control the manufacturing and the processing. For instance, we sell handcrafted wooden walking canes. We outsourced the manufacturing to an artisan in Akwaibum State that sources the wood and he manufactures the design of the, the, the hand carved walking cane for us. We are currently paying 5,000 Naira, 5,000 Naira, just think about that for a second, for one cane. 
and we are retailing them here in the United States for a whopping $150. I repeat, a whopping $150 is what we are selling our canes for. And they are selling. So, that is one way you can leverage the strength of the dollar. For us, we are we diversify our investments. Not just in commodities and foods, we are also into land banking. We are building our first Gary manufacturing facility in Aquaibum State based hedge on the strength of the dollar. Now, the play for the Gary manufacturing isn't really for export, it's for the local market because the demand is there. That is what we are currently focused on at this point. As you know, in Nigeria, what goes up doesn't always come down. The dollar is going to continue to strengthen against the Naira. And it allows us not only to invest in Nigeria, but to also create jobs, create employment opportunities directly and indirectly in the Nigerian market. So it's a win-win for everybody. We get to build, we get to buy commodities, import them into the United States and sell them, convert the money back into Naira and repeat the process. Depending on what your interests are, now is a good time to leverage, especially in 2024, and as you know, as technology continues to, technology is progressing, not regressing. Technology is progressing. Now we use apps like AfriX and TapTap Tap Send, to convert our dollars into Naira that goes directly into our bank account. So much so that we don't even depend on our bookies anymore. If I want to change $100 today, it's a matter of picking up my phone, opening up the application, the app, and transacting. And in real time, it goes directly into my Naira account in Nigeria that we use to pay vendors, order supplies, and build. There are also land opportunities. For those who are interested in that, lands are relatively affordable in Nigeria. And as a result of the strength of the dollar, you are in a position of power, really, to really control your destiny. My audience are abroad. They live abroad, they are successful business people, they work abroad, and they're just looking for just that piece of the country that they can hold on to and potentially pass on to their children. I know a lot of people right now, the United States is not what it used to be. The United States, my United States is not the same United States that my father came into in the early, in the late 70s. Where they'll come, they'll walk, they'll go home, they'll feed everybody, they'll put everybody else's children through school, they'll do this, they'll do that. At the end of the day, they end up being broke in so many instances you've heard the stories i don't have to share them here and it just it's not limited to just nigerians alone it's most immigrants so i don't know maybe just they, they weren't educated enough or the technology that i enjoy today or that i have today they didn't have at that time but the critical thing is self-discipline you really have to have a clear focus on what it is that you want to do for yourself. Because at the end of the day, your primary responsibility, whether you are a father 
or a mother, your primary responsibility is to your immediate family. And by immediate family, I'm talking about your nuclear, the, the nuclear family, meaning the husband, wife, and children. I don't dabble in extended family. I have very limited interaction. I mean, I'm not, I, we didn't, I didn't cut anybody off. We're not cutting people, but we just have very limited interaction with anything or anyone that does not align with our goals as a family. Because at the end of the day, you're going to have to answer to your wife if you're a man and your children. Or if you're a woman, at the end of the day, you're going to have to answer to your husband and your kids. Those are your primary responsibilities. Don't let anybody tell you any different. Part of my success, I, I would say a huge part of my success, is, is just limiting that interaction with with people or with things that just isn't in alignment with my objectives. And I've seen myself go from this to this, just by making that one switch. So the strength of the dollar isn't really, doesn't mean, again, you can be as generous as you want to, that's your cup of tea, that's your cup of tea. But this is really not the time for you to be changing money to be feeding your brothers and sisters, putting people's children through school, doing this or doing that. Now, if you have a family, if you are based abroad and you have a, an immediate family in Nigeria that you're supporting, again, immediate family, maybe your wife and children are in Nigeria and you're trying to bring them to the United States, obviously, I encourage that. But I have seen situations where people are busy supporting people back home in Nigeria and they can't even pay their bills in the United States. They are paying their bills with credit cards. Imagine that. You work 10 to 12 hours a day just for you to take your salary to send to Nigeria to people who can never ever do anything for you. I'll tell you a story. When I was 29, 30, I'm 45 now, when I was 29 turning 30, up until that time I had supported family members from 19 to 29, that's a decade. I was supporting family members to the point where I was selling for my own personal furniture and sitting on the floor just to be able to send money to people in Nigeria to do Christmas, Send money to them in Nigeria to, for birthday gifts, for funerals, for this and that. And I remember turning 29, about to turn 30, I was going through a personal breakup in my relationship at the time, which affected, just based on what I was going through in that relationship, it spilled into my professional life and started affecting my, my performance at work. I was a manager at the time. I was so broken, so heartbroken that I couldn't perform my, the requirements of my job. So I walked into work one day, they called me into the office and they let me go. Let, letting someone go means you essentially, you were fired. So. I got fired from that job. Now I had two problems. My relationship was in the toilet. My job was gone. And I had bills piling up. Rent was coming due. I had bills to pay. And I turned around and I looked around and there was not one single person that I can call on to save me. I was, for 10 years, I was busy saving people in Nigeria. But there was no one to save me. So at that point in time, I had the only asset that I had was a land that I had bought in Abuja. You're talking about 2020, 20, 2006. That was the only asset I had to my name. So in order for, to have some extra money until I'm able to get myself back on my feet, I requested for that land to be sold. Again, family members, sell this land for me. 
take that money, send it to me here in the United States so I can pay my bills. They sold my land and took that money and kept the money. They didn't send that money to me. So you can imagine the only asset that I was depending on, again, depending on, to get myself out of the rut that I was in, a close family member sold that land for me. Instead of sending me that money, they kept the money. So I lost out on that. So I clawed and I clawed and I worked and I, and I just kept saying, if I can, because I felt hopeless at the time. If I ever, ever get out of this rut that I'm in, I will have to do a mind realignment or a life realignment. And part of the oath that I made to myself was I will always put myself first. With time and patience and focus, I was able to find a new job. And slowly I climbed out of that rut that I was in. And since then, from 30, I'm 45 now. I seized supporting everyone and their mother and their dog in Nigeria. And as a result of that decision, I saw my life go from a slippery, a slippery slope to this trajectory. I found a new purpose by focusing on myself. And throughout that time, I met my wife. I got married and I have a beautiful young family. Just as a result of, I will never, ever, ever, ever again put myself in a situation where I am taking care of people in Nigeria. And a lot of people hated me for that. Like it was my duty because I'm in America to support them. I took myself, I made that decision to stop because I realized that no one is going to save you abroad. No one is going to save you. There's no uncle, there's no aunt, there's no brother or sister here in America that I know that's just going to give you money. So back on the topic of money. It's 1,255 Naira to a dollar. Start investing. If you choose not to invest in, in Nigeria, keep your money to yourself and invest wherever you are abroad. Because at the end of the day, you only have yourself to answer to. So that is my message today. Leverage the strength of the dollar and improve your personal economy. Hope that helps. Thank you for um, watching this clip. Uh, like, share, and comment. My name is Richard Barricade, founder of Barricade Ventures. We are a multi-sector company. We operate in Nigeria and in the United States. And we deal in food, agriculture, land, construction and infrastructure in Nigeria. If there's any questions that you have, I will be happy to answer them. Just post them in the comment section. All the best. Invest today, don't wait.